Hello and welcome to the first episode of What's Up with Pete and Potts, a light hearted look at the Goulburn Rugby Club. Each week we'll talk to a player, official or supporter of the club about what's happening around the local club and they'll ask all the really tough questions. This week we're joined by first grade coach Dave Jack Annabel. Jack's a 20 year veteran of the club, he's a three time premiership winning prop and he's taking, to, uh, trying his hand at coaching for the first time this year. Good to get the first win out of the way last week. Um, any improvements that you think the first grade can make or any, any standouts in particular? Oh, no, the, just defence around the ruck against, against opposition forwards, I think. It was a bit, a bit poor last week. But generally, it was a uh, yeah, real good effort with attitude and uh, lifting towards the end of the game. So, yeah, pretty happy with it. And it's pretty awesome. It must also be good to have a home game so early in the season as well. Um, get the yeah, extra up here. Yeah, no, it's good to get, get a home game happening. Uh, they're pretty rare for the first couple of rounds. I think we've got four, maybe five home games to finish the season. So, yeah, so we'll get on a roll here hopefully this week. As you said last night, uh, we've got a lot of young blokes pushing for positions in first grade. That's quite a luxury that a lot of first grade coaches in Goulburn haven't had in the past. Yeah, no, I'm stoked with the, uh, the talent we've got there. It's, um, yeah, some, some good good young forwards there by the look of it. Okay. Um, and, and backs as well, so uh, it'll get stronger during the year, I think. Yep. Now, tomorrow we take on Yass, uh, long-time rivals. Uh, yep. What do you think we can expect from Yass? Yeah, well, traditionally, in my career, they were very difficult to play and always a benchmark, I thought, um, for a long time. So, had a couple of troubled years, but look at it, but they seem to build pretty well. It looks like a young squad, but don't know what to expect, really. I think uh, they have to be on our best behaviour. Okay. We've got a coach that's pretty passionate about it. So, you know, so you'll get them going. Okay. How are you finding coaching this year and, and not playing? Yeah, struggling with not playing a bit. It's time I give it away, but, but uh, yeah, really enjoying the coaching. Yeah, it's um, the hardest part of sort of feeling last night was keeping ahead of uh, where the players are at during the year rather than obviously we've got to move out of pre season mode now, but. Um, yeah, it's probably one of my biggest challenges now is keeping in front of the players and their development during the year. So, but really enjoying it. It's good. Kelly made the comment last week that you're at home even less now than you were when you were playing. Yes, it appears that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyhow. Not going to get itchy feet this week, this year for a, not one more run, maybe in seconds, if the knee pulls uh, up? No, I don't think so. But, uh, career ending knee injury, I suppose, will end my career, I'd say. Yeah. I'd, yeah. yeah, I'd love to play still. It's a, Probably can handle it for all the day, I think. Each week we'll put into our guest who potted in 60 seconds, where I'll be looking to answer the answers for the big questions. Right, Jack, first question. What's your favourite rugby memory? Oh, it'd have to be obviously the, the three grand finals, all for the different reasons, I suppose. Yep. Um, first one's obviously the first one. After many years of trying for a lot of guys, and uh, yeah, the third one was probably a real hard game, a close victory, so it was, yeah, it was all good. Yep. Uh, funniest rugby innocent incident, off field or on? Oh, jeez. I'm off the cut here, I can't think of one. <laughs> off the field, oh, there's always those memorable, memorable pooey pooey awards, <laughs> they always go down quite well. Um, oh, on the field there's always, you know, I can't think of anything particular, someone running the wrong way or something, dropping the ball, yeah. El Migos, <laughs> nothing in particular. Any pre or post game rituals? Yeah, left boot on first, pre game basically. Uh, always was nervous to the very last game I suppose. Still am coaching. Uh, post game, usually last out of the change room. Made a, Habit of that, so, yep. Most annoying teammate? Yeah, different blokes for various reasons, I suppose. Andrew or Jim, for something I probably can't say here. Uh, Allport, just a pest. Ben Pearson, another pest. Goes with hookers, I suppose. <laughs> a few right. halfbacks there, too. Right, now for our main question. How would you rate Kelly's cooking out of 10? Oh, 10. Two yeah, N. Two N. Yeah. <laughs> nah, she's pretty good. 
Each week we thank our guests that come on the show by giving them a, a top quality finger bun from the great people at Baker's Delight Golden. So, Jack, here's your finger bun. Donate it all at once. Cheers. Enjoy it. One star beauty. Thank you. Here we go. Thanks for joining us for our first episode of What's Hot with Pete and Potts. We'd like to thank all of our club sponsors, in particular uh, Golden Workers Club, our club's major sponsor. Before we go, the uh, entire playing group of the Golden Dirty Reds just want to send out a big get well to uh, a club legend, Terry Tilden. Uh, Wiz hasn't been all that well lately, so we hope to see you back on the sideline soon, Wiz. Remember, if you want to keep up to in touch with what's happening with the Golden Rugby Union, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or you can go to the Golden Reds homepage. Thanks. Thanks for coming.